welcome to today's session. So we are looking at question 10 from the 2021 grade 12 mathematics paper 2. So this is from section B where you are expected to choose four questions and each question would carry 12 marks just like this question. So a question on statistics is always there. So if you know how to answer this question, then you are guaranteed of 12 marks. So just follow the way I am answered in this question. And if you get the concepts, the concepts are the same. Numbers may change, but the questions remains almost the same. As you check in other past papers that we've done, questions on the statistics. So question 10 leads, the table below shows the heights of trees in a plantation. So these, the heights of trees in this plantation which is the entire population. So we have that table, height in centimeter and frequency, calculate the standard deviation. Calculate the standard deviation. So the standard deviation is basically given by, so in this case, when you have the frequency, so we have the frequency here, okay? So when you have the frequency, the simplest formula to use to find the standard deviation is standard deviation. In this case, standard deviation is just the square root of the variance, which we shall call S square. Okay? So this is the standard deviation. So now, where the variance? So the variance itself is given by a summation of X square multiplied by the frequency over summation of the frequencies, then minus the mean square. Okay, the mean square. Where the mean is given by, so the mean itself, which is x bar, in this case, the mean is given by summation of x multiplied by the frequency over summation of frequency. So frequency is a number of a observation of interest. So when you're given n, you just use that n. Now for you to find the frequency, you don't need to waste so much time because the total sum of frequency will be given to you on the next question. You look at this one. So if you want to confirm, if you're not so sure in case you're not given there, what you do is you're going to add 30 plus 70 plus 200 to find the frequency. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to find them the, the mean. So let us find the mean. So to find the mean, we need to know the, the first of all, the frequency, which is summation of frequencies, which is basically in this case. So in this case, it is uh, equal to uh, 30, the first one, plus 70, plus 200, plus 200. Then we add everything until the last one, which is 10. So when you sum this using a calculator, remember a calculator is allowed, the calculator is allowed, you end up with 700, which is basically this number, which is here. Okay. So we found that, then we need to find summation of x multiplied by the frequency. So in this case, now what x are we going to use? Because what we've been given is the table. So we've been given this table. So now the table has ranges where x lies between somewhere greater than 0 but less or equal to 10. So to, to, to find the value of x to use in this case, you will get the middle point here. So the middle point here is, is 0 plus 10 is 10 divided by 2 is a 5. Okay, so the first one we are going to say the x will be 5, the middle value multiplied by 30. Then plus, we go to the next one. So the next one is from 10, greater than 10, but less than 20. So it will be 10 plus 20, which is basically 30 divided by 2, 15. So I think we've gotten the pattern. So we we'll use a 15 multiplied by, uh, multiply by 70. So use the calculator there. Then you do the same for all, all of them until the last one, which is in this case, is this one. So this one, the second from last, it will be 50 plus 60 divided by 2, which is 55 times 30. Then this one, it will be 60 plus 70 divided by 2, which is 65 multiplied by 10. So I have 65 multiplied by 10. 
okay when we sum these when we sum these using calculator we we'll end up with 22700 22700 so now if you have this number and you have this number we can easily find the mean to be basically uh 22700 we divide by 700 we end up with basically a uh, 32.4 as our mean height in what centimeters as our mean height so we found this already so out of this one we found so the next we need to find this once we find that then we are good so what you notice is this finding this is easier because if you are able to find this mean it's something that we are going to use so we're going to use the same number but except now when this becomes square we are squaring these middle points we square these middle points and then add the answer so basically that's what we are going to do so let us find basically the the summation of uh, x square so what i'm going to do is i'm going to lab part of this so let me lab this area i want to, to create space so let me lab this part okay so this part i'm going to lab it then so let us find the, the summation of x square multiplied by f frequency so similarly there what we had is the middle value here is five so we square that five then we multiply by the frequency how many are they which is 30 then plus then this one you find the middle point which is 15 then you square that 15 then multiply by the frequency how many are there in that range they are 70 plus then we do the same until the last one so the last one in this case is the middle is this one the similar that we did 60 plus 70 divided by 2 which is 65 then we square that then multiply by 10 okay then after we do this you sum them using a calculator remember a calculator is allowed so make sure that you utilize your calculator once we get that we end up with 83 84 843500 as this sum so now once we get that we can easily proceed to finding the standard d the variance from this we can find the, the variance so once we do that what we get is in this case we have this number which is here so it's eight three eight hundred and forty three thousand five hundred then divide by seven hundred then minus the mean square which is thirty two point four then we square this number then we we'll, we we'll end up with remember a calculator is allowed we we'll end up with one five five point two four okay this is the variance but you're looking for standard deviation so standard deviation is basically the square root of the variance so we we'll introduce the square root this side to find s and here we we'll introduce the square root so when we're looking for the square root of one 55.24 so this one gives us now the standard deviation sd which is equal to s is basically 12.5 so 12.5 centimeter as the standard deviation so basically this is how you get these six marks from this question okay so let us move to part b so part b is asking us using the table below copy and complete the relative cumulative frequency table below okay relative frequency table below okay so let us move to a cleaner version as we move so that as we okay so if you see this question what we need to do is we need to follow the pattern they are using so part of it has been done for us so how can we find these missing points so for me just to explain so what it means is for us to find this 
it is this is zero divided by 700 we are getting this 0, 0.0 then to find this number is 30 divided by 700 that's how we are getting the 0 0.04 similarly 100 divided by 700 we get this number here so to find this number which is here the missing here where there's 500 this number what we do is it will be 500 so we get our calculator then we say 500 divided by 700 which is nothing but 5 over 7 then when we divide that we get basically to in this case they're giving us to two decimal places so we get 0 0.71429 which is nothing but 0 0.7 so it will be 0 0.7 one as the first entry and this entry is here then we need to look for the second entry which is basically in this case it will be 6 60 over 700 when we divide that using our calculator we end up with 0 0.94 okay 94 then next we do the last one which is this one so it will be basically uh number three it will be 690 divided by 700 we end up with basically 0 0.99 as the value here okay then here we have this value so basically this is how you completed the table and the questions on this one are almost standard so it's just a matter of changing the numbers that's why it's difficult for you to fill this question this 12 marks is almost guaranteed to you then let us look at part b let us look at part b so part b leads using a scale of two centimeter to represent 10 units on the x-axis for zero for x is greater or equal to zero but less or equal to 70 And 2 cm to represent 0 0.1 units on the y axis for uh, 0 0.00 is y is greater or equal to 0 0.00 but less or equal to 1. Draw a smooth cumulative frequency table. Frequency table. Then you can easily do that. Okay? So what you can do is let us work on uh, this one. Okay, let us work on this one. So what you notice here is basically, uh, let me just try to zoom in a bit so that you're able to see clearly, so that you maximize the space. So what you'll be given in an exam, you'll be given the standard, the standard two centimeter uh, graph paper. Okay. So there are two types of graph papers, those that are big, if the box is big, that's two centimeter. If the box is small, that's one centimeter. So now this graph is used for demonstration purposes. So ideally, this is supposed to be, and this is zoomed because it's on a small screen. So ideally, this is supposed to be two centimeter from here to here, and from here to here, two centimeter. That's the way it's supposed to be. So now, given that, let us now, We've already uh, listed from 10 units. So 2 cm is 10 units. So we're assuming this is 10 cm, 2 cm, and this is 2 cm. That's how it is, so that the graph is zoomed, you see, shrinked. Okay. Then after we do that, what we do is we do that. Remember the instruction is 0 to 70, and we label this is the height then this is nothing but cumulative okay remember this is relative so it's relative cumulative frequency relative cumulative frequency so if you look at the first one so the first one is zero comma zero okay so we are at zero comma zero which is this point okay the origin which is this point then when x is 
less or equal to 10 we have 0 0.04 so 0 0.04 so we are going to count this number of units up to 0 0.04 so there are 10 so now if there are 10 units and if 0 0.1 is equal to 10 units then we divide by 10 we get each unit is 0 0.01 so we need to count how many units to 4 units to get 0 0.04 so we are counting 1 to up to 4. So 4 is somewhere here. Then we come to uh, we come to when x is equal to less or equal to 20 is 0 0.14. So that's a 20 at 20 this is 20. Then we go this is 0 0.1. Then we count 4 units which is 0 0.0 uh, 0 0.14. Then we proceed to an x is less or equal to 30, 0 0.43. So 0 0.43 is somewhere here. Okay, so 0 0.43 is somewhere. 43 is, we count how many? 3 units. So it's somewhere here. Somewhere there. Okay, so that's where we have what we are looking for. Then next, we come to... 40 at 40, remember 40 is where 500 is, and 500 is this one, which is 0 0.71. So at 40 is 0 0.71. So we just this unit somewhere here. Okay, then we go to uh, 50, 50 is basically we have 0 0.94. So 0 0.94 at 50 is 0 0.94, it's just somewhere here. Then we go to 60 or less, where the height is 60 or less, so everything that is 60 or less, and that is means we have covered about 99%, 0 0.99%. So it's almost close to 1. At 60, we have somewhere here. Then at all those trees whose height are less or equal to 70 centimeters. So it's the entire plantation, which is in this case 1. So we are here. Okay. So remember, relative frequency tells us. So here, in this case, at 30, we are saying how many trees whose height is equal to 30 or less. So that's what we are saying about 0 0.43 out of 1, which is about 43%. Then we join this line. So we join these lines. And we're using a pencil to draw a smooth curve, which will look like this. So it's this smooth curve that they are looking for. Then this is how you get basically these three marks. Then the last question says, showing your method clearly, use your graph to estimate, use your graph to estimate um, the 80th percentile, the 80th percentile. So in this case, 80th percentile, so we are saying 80 multiplied by what's the scale? So the scale there is 0 0.1 per unit. So multiply by 0 0.1, we are getting 0 0.8. So 0 0.8 is basically the 80th percentile. So we go to 0 0.8 and draw this line. Draw this line using a ruler, this line. So where this line is catching, closing this curve, okay, the smooth curve, then we come down here. Like you come down using a ruler. So I'm sketching, so you use a ruler. We use a ruler so it will be somewhere around this which is uh almost so if you see for every x-axis x-axis 10 units two centimeters so here we have 10 units so we have 10 so meaning each one is one unit so we have 41 42 43 somewhere there around uh 44 centimeter so 44 centimeter so if you come to this table, what you are saying is, where does the 80th percentile lies? So remember here, less or equal to 40, we have uh, 71. Then less or equal to 50, we have 94. So it's somewhere around 43. So this is 44. So not 43, 44 from our graph. So we have this uh, 44. So this 44 is basically what we are saying is our answer so this is roughly about 44 so 44 centimeter as our answer so basically this is how you deal with this question